Kram is a continuous resistance orthotic for microgravity. So essentially it's uh, going to mimic gravitational forces in order to combat muscle atrophy, which is what every astronaut experiences whenever they go into space due to microgravity. You can still do other things and be working on maintaining your muscle composition and maintaining your bones. So. That frees up a lot of time for the astronauts in their schedule to begin with. And then also, there's other uh, downsides to the way they're currently doing things on the space station. Uh, the exercise equipment they use actually has to be heavily dampened because it will actually shake the space station. And it'll actually shake the photovoltaic cells that uh, power the space station and can damage them. And if they use the bicycle for too long, it can actually begin to adjust the orbit a little bit. We decided to uh, make something that was wearable, something that is uh, not very compressive but still will get the job done, something that's active resistance um, and will compress throughout the body, specifically the legs because that's the uh, region that experiences most of the muscle loss and bone atrophy. We just took a ton of measurements, used some images to make sure we had the contours right, and then I developed a 3D model of it. We 3D printed that. Uh, it, was, it came in like, I think it was seven different pieces. We glued those seven pieces together, and then we wrapped it in carbon fiber to give it the strength it really needs to support all the loads we were going to be putting through it. There's uh, two linear actuators, one anterior and posterior, on the exoskeleton, and these are what applies the force on the person in order to uh, gain the strength that gravity has taken away from you. The load cells that are at the bottom on the calf piece, those these load cells read the score sent it to the microcontroller, which we have here on the back. The microcontroller then sends this information to the motors, and the motors move accordingly to the force being applied. It's been really cool to see like where things were a year ago and where they are today. Working in the senior design center, working in the machine shop, you see all these people there just really struggling against time to get this done. And it's really great, just not, not just our project that we finally finished, but everyone's project. Because it's like, it was very frustrating at lots of times, yeah. you know, but it, we, all, we all did it, and that's very, very exciting.